So in today's mall for two video guys I'm gonna show you the top five best class ups to use right now here in the game Now if these builds do help you improve your KD win more games and get more kills Make sure that like button subscribe to the channel with notice on so you don't miss any more videos But anyways guys let's hop right into it so Starting off our first weapon guys We have the chimera honey badger whatever you call it here and this class setup is really nice You could be really aggressive with it and we're gonna go ahead and hop right into it here We're gonna start with our first attachment which is gonna be the 45 round mag just for a larger magazine size you fly through bullets so this is going to prevent reloading every time we get a kill or two now for our next attachment guys we have the f tech ripper 56 this can help with aiming idle stability hip bar accuracy and recoil stabilization now i found this attachment help the most and it's one of the best underbellies you can use here in modern warfare 2 it's just going to make the weapon not jump as much the weapon has so much better hip bar accuracy and also when aiming down sights were more stable here now for the tunings, for the aim walking movement speed, you want to put it at 0.10. This is the best spot. We're aiming down sights, we're moving faster, we're strafing faster, so it's going to help so much when getting into those gunfights. You're not going to be getting hit. The recoil stability is going to be at 0.36, so our weapon is so much easier to control. Super smooth. Now for the laser, guys, we have the VLK Laser 7MW. Now this can help with aim down sight speed, aiming stability, and sprint to fire speed. This attachment here is going to make the weapon so much more aggressive, shooting faster off the sprint. Aiming down sides faster is going to help us get more kills and also we're more stable. Next, we have the optic. Now, I do have an optic on. If you don't want to run an optic for this weapon, you can replace it with whatever, maybe a barrel, a stock. Uh, ammunition type whatever it may be but honestly the slimline pro is such a perfect fit for the honey badger i do like the ghost iron sights a tiny bit more but the iron sights are okay but whatever you want to run when it comes to optics just run whatever you're more comfortable with but today i am running the slimline pro now we did tune this attachment here we put the eye position at 2.25 so when firing our weapon for long periods of time it's not going to have as much recoil uh, visual, visual recoil and then for our final attachment guys we have the d37 grip this can help with recoil control now this attachment here is just going to make everything balance your weapons can be super nice easy to control and then we did tune this attachment and max out that sprint to fire speed and the recoil steadiness is going to be at 0 0.26 so when firing our weapon is super steady and easy to control now going into our next weapon guys we have the lockman sub easily one of the best weapons here in Modern Warfare 2 and it's one of the most classic here in call of duty the mp5 easily one of the best weapons in any call of duty it's been in now we're going to hop into the class setup and go to the magazine and start off with the 40 round mag now since the lockman sub does have a very fast fire rate we're throwing this on I don't want to have to fly through bullets and if you even want to you can add on the 50 round mag if you really want to if you just want to take a little bit more movement speed aim down sight speed reload quickness and sprint the fire speed away but I think the 40 round mag is perfect you're not reloading every time you get a kill and you know just being aggressive and everything I just think it fits perfect now for the under barrel running the pineapple grip now going through here I studied these attachments very very carefully and the Merc 4 grip is okay, but I do like the pineapple grip just a tiny bit better. Helps with hip fire accuracy, hip hip recoil control, recoil steadiness, and aim walking steadiness. A very good amount of things are happening here. Our weapon is now able to have a hip fire build and also just be aggressive and aim down sights. Now, this is a very good attachment. I like using it, and we're going to tune this attachment, max out the aim down sight speed, and put our hip recoil control at 0 .70. So if we want to hip fire, the weapon is so much easier to control, and also if you want to be aggressive, aggressive your aim down sight speed is so much faster so you want to have these down now for the muzzle we're going to be adding on the Bruin cubic comp now you can run the Bruin pendulum if you want but what I have found out this weapon gives you a tiny bit I mean just a tiny bit of accuracy so this weapon has better vertical and horizontal recoil control but also a tiny bit of accuracy which does help out a lot and we did tune this attachment here we're going to put our gun kick control at 0.29 so our weapon's not going to kick as much and also the recoil stabilization is going to be at 0.44 so when aiming down sights and firing our weapon's not going to jump as much and be more smooth now for the laser running the vlk laser 7mw just like the honey badger very good attachment aim down sight speed sprint the fire speeds up so we're more aggressive and also we have that aiming stability and then for our final attachment guys we have the mer recoil 56 factory stock it's going to help with aiming out of stability recoil control and sprint speed mobility is going up running faster around the map being more aggressive being in people's faces 
the weapon is so much easier to control and also we're more stable and we're going to tune this attachment here we're going to put the aim walking movement speed at 2.40 so we're moving really fast when aiming down sights and also our aim down sight speed is going to be at 1.16 so we're really aggressive aiming down sights faster next guys we have the tac 56 hands down easily one of the top three weapons here in modern warfare 2 it's the competitive assault rifle everybody thinks it's annoying and with this class setup you're going to have so much fun now starting off with our build guys we have the under barrel and we're going to use the commando foregrip now if you don't want to use this attachment or don't have it unlocked you could use the edge 47 the x10 grave digger or you could actually use the f tac ripper 56 really good attachments here but i'm today i'm using the commando foregrip it is one of the what attachments the pro uses it's going to help with recoil stabilization aiming stability or aiming down sights being more stable and also the weapon is so much easier to control we did tune this attachment. We're going to put the aim walking movement speed at 0.19. So when aiming down sights, we're moving faster. And also the recoil stabilization is going to be at 0.36. So our weapon is so much easier to control. Very smooth when firing. Next, for the under, uh, muzzle, we have the RF crown. Now, this muzzle here is what pros use. They have the horizontal and vertical recoil control. Very easy to control the weapon. And we're going to tune this attachment here. Put the gun kick control at 0.25. And the recoil stabilization is going to be at 0.54. The weapon is so much easier to control. It's not going to have as much kick. Next, for the barrel, we have the 17.5 Tundra Pro barrel. This can help with damage at range, hip bar accuracy, and bullet velocity. Bullets are doing more damage at a longer distance. Our bullets are traveling faster and able to hit our targets faster. And also, if we do need a hip fire, the weapon has better accuracy, so it does come in clutch. And we did tune this attachment. We put the damage range at 0.19, so our bullets are doing a tiny bit more damage at a longer distance. And also, we're going to max out that recoil steadiness at 0.50, so our weapon is super steady. We're going to go to the stock here and add on the TV Cardinal stock. This can help with aim walking movement speed and sprint speed. Running faster around the map. A ton of mobility here. Being more aggressive, being in people's faces, and also the aim walking movement speed is up. So our aim walking movement speed is super fast. We're going to tune this attachment. We're going to max out the aim walking movement speed. We're moving really fast with this build, and also the aim down sight speed max out at 4.00. So our aim down sight speed is very fast. And then for our final attachment, guys, we have the demo clean shot grip. Sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed. Really aggressive. Aim down sights faster. Shooting faster off a sprint. You're getting a ton of kills with this build. And we're going to tune this attachment here. We're going to max out that sprint to fire speed at 0.45. And then recoil steadiness is maxed. Next, we have the Bryson 890. You know, I have to show you a class stuff where you can be toxic and annoying, which is the shotgun. A lot of you guys like when I upload shotguns, which I have more updated builds coming your way. But we have the Bryce 890 here in today's video, and we're going to hop into the class setup and start with the muzzle. We have the X10 full choke. It's going to help with damage range, so our pellets are doing a little bit more damage. At a longer distance, it's going to increase that one-shot, one-kill, which in shotguns, that's what you want. You want to have your one-shot, one-kills be more aggressive you have eight rounds so you want to have each shot be a one shot so you're guaranteed eight kills per magazine we're going to tune this attachment we're going to max out that damage range and tighter the pellet spread up at 0.13 so we're going to be trying to make some slug rounds but not have the slug rounds in the weapon if that makes sense but also i mean the damage range is going to be very important your bullets are doing more damage your pellets are more like slug rounds now so you have like a sniper rifle in a way so it's really nice Next, we have the barrel. We're going to be adding on the 21.5 Bryson Shredder. This can help with bull velocity, recoil control, damage range, and tighter pellet spreads. Now, again, we're making our shotgun more of a sniper rifle, having slug rounds in. The pellets are super tight. Bullets are doing more damage at a longer distance. The weapon's easier to control, although it's a shotgun. We don't really need recoil control. And also, that bull velocity is going to help our pellet travel faster and air to our targets faster. Tune this attachment. We're going to max out that damage range to give our more potential of a one shot, one kill. And also, the aim walking movement speed is up. So, when aiming down sights and pre aiming, we're moving faster and strafing faster. Next, we have the VLK Laser 7W again. Now, this can help with aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. This is what you want with a shotgun. You want attachments that can help with one shot, one kills and more aggressive in handling your sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed. Now for the stock, we don't have to tune this attachment. We have the sawed off mod. It's gonna help with aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed, movement speed, and hip recoil control. So if we need a hip fire, better recoil control, movement speed is up, sprint to fire speed is up, and also our aim down sight speed. And then for our final attachment, guys, we have the uh, the guards, and we're gonna be adding on the tactical pump. This can help with rechambering speed, so we're shooting faster, crouch movement speed, irrelevant, and also that aim down sight speed. We're going to tune this attachment. We're going to max out that sprint to fire speed at 0.22. Sprint to fire speed is very fast for this build. And we're not going to change anything on the left bar, which I think both of these are irrelevant. 
aim walking movement speed you don't need and also the crouch movement speed you don't need because you're not going to be crouching with this build now for our final weapon guys we have the tag v hands down the most underrated weapon in marker 2 very good no one uses but with this build you should start using it a lot more now hopping into our build first attachment we have the 50 drum very good attachment the weapon's about a 3-4 kill weapon, so if you want to have this on, you're never going to reload. You can get about 10 kills with one magazine if you are accurate enough. Now for the underbarrel, we're running the F-Tac Ripper 56. It's going to open aiming idle stability, hipfire accuracy, and recoil stabilization. One of the best underbarrels you can use for the game. Now we're going to tune this attachment. We're going to max out the aim walking movement speed, and we're going to max out the recoil stabilization. The weapon is so much easier to control. We're moving faster when aiming down sights. It's going to be very helpful to use. For the muzzle, we have the Sack and Tread 40, easily one of the best muzzles you can use as well. It's going to help with vertical and horizontal recoil control, giving you more control of the weapon. It's not going to kick as much, it's just the weapon is so much smoother to use. Now we're going to tune our attachment, we're going to put our recoil stabilization at .41, easier to control, and then the gun kick control is going to be at .35. Now with the Tac V, it does kick a little bit, so having this on is going to bring that down a little bit, so you're not going to have as much kick. For the optic, we have the AIM OPV4. Now, you guys know people use this in Warzone, but it's actually very good to use in multiplayer as well. Now, if you don't like this or don't have it unlocked, you can choose any other optic that you want. Or even if you don't want to run an optic, you can replace this with a laser sight or the ammunition type, recommending the high-velocity rounds if you are going to run it. I did tune this attachment, though, if you're going to use it and put the eye position at 1.65, so the weapon does kick a lot. So when aiming down sights, you're getting a lot of visual recoil, so that's going to tune that down a little bit, so you're not going to have as much. And then for our final attachment, guys, we have the FSS Combat Grip for that recoil control. It's going to be so much easier to control, guys. You do not understand how this weapon is. It's going to be so much easier to control. You're going to have so much fun with it. And we also did tune this to class it up and put the Sprint to Fire speed max out at .45. We're more aggressive. And also, we're going to max out that recoil steadiness. So we're super steady when firing the weapon. But guys, you got to copy this class tips down. Let me know which one was your favorite. And also, if you drop any nukes or any high kill games, let me know in the comment section. But guys, thank you so much for watching. You guys stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one.